Welcome to the Palace in Coldwater, Ohio, along with Dave Bowen. I'm Jeff Oberholzer. It's a battle of one and two in Division Six. And Dave, this should be a great, great matchup here tonight. Jeff, it's great to be your wingman, and you are exactly right. This is la creme de la creme in the Midwest Athletic Conference. Coldwater, 20 and zero, seven and zero in the Midwest Athletic Conference. New Bremen, 18 and two, six and one in the Midwest Athletic Conference. The only regular season game that Coldwater lost last year was to New Bremen. It was a three-way tie between New Bremen, St. Henry, and Coldwater last year. All of them beating each other once. St. Henry beat New Bremen, Coldwater beat St. Henry, New Bremen beat Coldwater. Tonight, Nikki Etzler's Coldwater Club, they have the opportunity to stay in the driver's seat with a win. New Bremen wants to put an L in that column for Coldwater to even things up with one match to play after tonight as far as the league is concerned. You're looking at the Coldwater Cavaliers. They've only lost one set all season, and that was two for sales and for sales. One set, that is just phenomenal. They are 55 and one in all sets played. Had them earlier on WSN against St. Henry. St. Henry came close in the second set. They pushed Coldwater to the limit, but in overtime, 28-26, Coldwater won the second set, then they went on to take control of set number three and beat St. Henry, obviously, three to zero. And for New Bremen, winners of four, eight, and six in a row. However, losses to St. Henry at New Bremen and also to number one, Fort Lormie. Number one, Fort Lormie in Division Seven. Fort Lormie, they're very unique. They are undefeated in the Shelby County Athletic League. All of their non-conference games are against the MAC, and it's incredible what they have done this year. But you're right, Fort Lormie has the one victory over New Bremen, and New Bremen also fell to St. Henry at home early in the season. Another match that we had on WRSN, three to zero. Well, get set for some high-powered volleyball action here at Coldwater. Number one, Cavaliers, 20 and 0. Number two ranked New Bremen Cardinals, the defending state champions, and they are 18 and two. We're coming back with exciting volleyball action next on WOSN. Back here at Coldwater, Coldwater Cavaliers and the New Bremen Cardinals. And the scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Oberholzer. Manning the camera is Megan Sherrick. Thanks to athletic director Eric Goodwin and TV 44's own Mark Shine for helping us with the stats for this matchup. Now you look at this on paper, and kills Morgan Blassing game, 329 on the season, or average of six per matchup. Mary Rindler of New Bremen, 198. So you got the matchup there. Aces, Spencer Etzler with 53 for Coldwater, and Melinda Schrader, 67 for New Bremen. Yeah, you look at those stats, Jeff, and they're just phenomenal. And if you look within the league, Coldwater's first in team kills per set at 14.5. First in team digs per set at 18.6. First in team assists per set at 13.1. New Bremen right there as well. They are first in team kills overall in the Midwest Athletic Conference, and they are second in team assists per set at 12.5. Just some outstanding players out here tonight. Headlined by Melina Schrader from New Bremen, the University of Dayton bound Melina Schrader. Uh, the setter for New Bremen, and then for Coldwater, Spencer Etzler has just had an outstanding high school volleyball career. This, her senior year, she is going to Stanford University, Jeff. So, again, it's Midwest Athletic Conference volleyball. We hear about MAC football all the time being best small school volleyball in the state of Ohio. Well, the MAC also has the honor of having the best small school volleyball 
in the state of Ohio as well. All right, uh, the starting six we have for New Bremen will be as follows. Whitlap, also number two, Muther, and number four, Ava Trittman. That's on the front line, back line. Wanger, also Baker and Rindler. For Coldwater, they have their six. Mia Kanapke, Morgan Blassen game, and Kira Kanapke, back line consisting of Harlow Hine, as well as Spencer Etzler, and also Braley Kanapke. We get underway with Coldwater with the serve to begin. Coming right back off the block, Coldwater maintains, hits it short, and it's tipped at the net. But that is a kill for Paige Ontrop, and we're underway. Ontrop with the kill, as you said, and you're going to see that the great defense, Coldwater right there. New Bremen, it went off the block of Coldwater, and they were able to keep it in, and there's an ace. Coldwater with three seniors on the roster, and New Bremen with five seniors. Briley Kanapke picks up her 12th ace on the season. Kanapke with a serve. Quick hit back over, and quick. That one was by Melina Schrader. There she is, the outstanding player for New Bremen, a great setter, always makes the right decision, Jeff, and she kicks it over on two right there. That gives her 122 kills on the season. She is third on her team in that category. And she's back to serve. Paul Water will free ball it over the net by the libero, Campbell Etzler. Back over the neck quickly by New Bremen. And hitting it down the line, but it's out of bounds on the hit by Paige Antra. So suddenly we're tied at two. Schrader will continue to serve. That's Campbell Etzler, the libero, returns that one. Good pass, and there's Spencer Etzler with a shot. Blocked at the net successfully, but reloading is New Bremen. They'll hit it down the line, plays in game, will keep it alive, and then back over on the hit by Spencer Etzler. Coldwater keeps it alive, back over again. Campbell Etzler gets that one out of the campfire, and it goes long. Long out of bounds on the hit by Lydia Bushman. They were wanting a touch at the net. That's, that's a, something you just ask for all the time. You're not going to pull one over, though. Our ladder official is Steve Trout, and on the floor, Connie Steinbrother. Pass, nice cross-court hit that time on the kill by Bushman. Lydia Bushman picks up her 93rd kill on the season. Tied at three. New Bremen has seven Midwest Athletic Conference championships. Coldwater comes in tonight with four under their belt. Ariana Muther back to serve. And coming right back is Coldwater on the free ball hit by Etzler. Right back over, New Bremen on the hit by Bushman. Quick set, blasting game with the blast and the kill. Morgan blasting game. She just gets wound up. Her footwork is outstanding. And when she uncoils on the volleyball, you do not want to be in its path, Jeff. 330 kills on the season. Number one in that category for Coldwater. Number one in the MAC. You don't realize how miles per hour the ball comes right back to a defender. Tipped over. Nice dig. And Coldwater with a nice save. And now they're going to call a carry or double hit on Coldwater. Great effort there again. Spencer Etzler on the floor that time. She and Sister Campbell, they do everything they can to keep that ball from hitting the wood. Just come away with an error there, a fundamental error. That was a tough situation for a teammate. Steiniger with the serve, and it goes out of bounds. Point Coldwater. Kara Steiniger goes long there, the Georgia-bound libero for New Bremen. Back to serve is Mia Kanapke for Coldwater. Both teams with black jerseys, and that's a quick set by passing game. 
with another kill. Yeah, that quick set came from Olivia Broering because Kanapke was behind the line. What a shoot right there. And as you said, they get the spike in the point, does Coldwater. Kanapke continuing to serve. Steiniger with the dig, running up with the slam. That time was by Rindler, coming right back, passing game again. Third kill in set number one. This defense, though, again, Coldwater transitions from defense to offense so effectively, and it's on display here in the early going, Jeff. And Apke continuing to serve. Coming right back off the block on the spike by Rindler. Quick set, passing game this time, will tip it over short. And quickly back over for New Bremen. Oh. Passing game again. You know, they, I saw a blasting game in the Coldwater spike off, and I'll tell you what, she has not let up since. No, not at all. Coldwater leads to Bremen 8-4 to four in this first set. Back with more exciting Mac volleyball on WOSF. Pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. Jeff, Coach Kramer takes the timeout down 8-4, to four, trying to cool Blazing Game off. Blazing Game is like Mariano Rivera, the closer <laughs> for the Yankees, but they're going to her in the first inning. And there's Blazing Game again. Kill number five. Nine to four, Coldwater. The only difference, if you look at, and if you look on the screen, New Bremen is to your right of the net, left is Coldwater, but Coldwater has the orange shirts. That kind of gives you a different look. Hit down the line is out of bounds by Rindler. Another point, Coldwater. So New Bremen trying to return the favor, going to their leading hitter, Mary Rindler, but she just cooks it a little to the left, and it's out of bounds. Keeping it alive and hitting it into the net is Mary Rindler. Two things I've seen here that I've seen previously, one positive, one not so positive. St. Henry going, or excuse me, or Coldwater going to Blazing Game. That took them a while to do that against St. Henry. And then secondly, New Bremen struggling with first contact a little bit. Blazing Game with the block on the spike attempt by Lydia Bushman. Blazing Game picks up her 29th block. Blockaroni and cheese, she leads. Coldwater in that category. Quick tip over and Coldwater will keep it. There alive. it is Good again. Play. Yes, Jeff. Broaring kept it over the line, over the net. And then off the block. It goes off of Broaring out of bounds. Yeah, you got to turn your shoulders in to push that ball back toward the middle of the court. Coldwater doesn't do so right there. So back to serve is Sarah Dwenger. Blasting game with a dig. Hetzler pushes it up. The spike back over by Kanapke. Quick set. Hitting it back over is Rindler. Back over quicker is Etzler. Then back over quick again is New Bremen. And then it's set for blasting game. Whoa! Number six in your program has shown up to play tonight, Jeff. Morgan Blazingame, six kills here in the early going. You know, one thing, though, that Coldwater does, they'll use Blazingame in this first set, and then maybe somebody else down the stretch. So, I mean, they have enough versatility they can use that. Well, absolutely, and you have Spencer Essler, second on the team in kills with 258. Blazingame with a serve. Tipping it over, back over is Hetzler. And quick move that time by New Bremen, and that was a good play by Melina Schrader. Schrader again, so smart out there. Pushes it into the corner. Campbell Etzler gets a hand on it, and for one of the very few times, Coldwater's unable to rein that one back in. 14-6. 
Coldwater with the early lead, Jeff. Quick set, and Spencer Etzler this time gets blocked by, by Schrader. Yeah, Melina Schrader picks up her 19th block on the season right there. She was pumped after pushing that one back down on Coldwater's side of the net. So back to serve continuing as uh, Baker, and she'll shoot that one beyond the inline. Back to serve. Coldwater on side out. Kara Kanapke back to serve. Great crowd here at the Palace in Coldwater. It's what you would expect with a, a match that has so much as far as league implications. Looking to see, I think somebody was in the net for New Bremen. But the point will go to Coldwater. Kara Kanapke. Coldwater, 16, seven. yeah, Coldwater trying to run away and hide right here. That's a nice cross-court kill by Mary Rindler. I have that down as her first kill of the match. 199 now on the season. She leads New Bremen in the kill category. The junior, Mary Rindler. Quick set, and this one is a spike by Harlow Hine, the freshman. You know, these two teams, they basically just reload. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, cold water uh, with Nikki Etzler and New Bremen with Diana Kramer. They've just done an outstanding job of creating culture within their programs. Nice block at the net for Coldwater and tipped back over. Lassen game keeps it alive. Tipped right back over by Kanapke, quickly by New Bremen. Quick back set at the 10 foot line for Blassen game. She'll hit it right into the net. I think her arms get a little tired. <laughs> That's the reason that one went in the net. So Schrader continuing to serve for New Bremen. 17 9 Coldwater in this first set. And that's going to be an ace. Good play by Schrader. Melina Schrader picks up her 68th ace on the season. She leads New Bremen in that category. And that is first as far as number of aces in the Midwest Athletic Conference. You're watching it right here on TV 44. Quick set for Etzler, and this one's blocked out of bounds. Point. Coldwater, or, and that was off of Lydia Bushman. Etzler picks up her second kill of the set. Spencer Etzler back to serve. By the way, she was honored for the Under Armour All-American before the matchup. That'll be down in Florida in December. Honored by athletic director Eric Goodwin and high school principal Jason Hamilgar. Good play that time by Ava Trentman on the kill. Her first kill of the match, 180 on the season for Ava. Second behind Mary Rindler. 18 to 11 in this first set at the Palace in Coldwater. Hope you enjoy. Dave Bowen along with Jeff Oberholzer. Tipped over by Blassen Game. Coming right back and into the net on the short hit was Lydia Bushman. Coldwater got out to that great start behind the arm of Morgan Blossom game. And now, you know, <laughs> Blitzkrieg actually a little bit from Coldwater. Now, New Bremen, they can't go one for one the rest of this way. They'll never win this set. We're going to call that an ace for Campbell Etzler. That's her 30th on the season, third on the team. Well, you're really hyped up, aren't you? I am. You know, <laughs> this is the kind of match you want Absolutely. to be a part of as a player and as a coach. Uh, this is why you put in all that time in the summer in order to prepare uh, for this kind of game and the implications that it has, not just here for a league championship, but in tournament. And we have another timeout. Coach Kramer, she's going to take that second one, Jeff. 21 to 11, Coldwater, 10 point lead in set one. Back with more Mac Volleyball on WOSN.
scoreboard is the ultimate outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. On the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard, 21 to 11, cold water in this first set. You know, we were talking about how the energy, the intensity here in the gymnasium. But you know what? You and I are pumped up when the <laughs> fans get into the, the matchup as well. Yeah, right now, just a great crowd and, and a 21 to 11 score right now. It's sort of hard for New Bremen to, to get off their hands because they're down 10. I love that timeout for Coach Kramer. She may not win this set, but right now the Cardinals are trying to neutralize the momentum, which is on Coldwater's side of the net. Tipped right back. And right back again by Ava Trippman. Passing game. And it goes off the top of the net and out of bounds. New Bremen might have caught a break there. It went off the top of the net, but I thought maybe New Bremen was in the net. But right now, they'll take any break yeah. they can get in any way, shape, or form. Kira Steininger behind the serving line. Serves it. Dig toward the back line. Quick set for blessing game toward the back line. And good play. There was not really a thunder on that one, but a good placement for Blasting Game. Yeah, she went with the changeup right there. Saw the open area back there. Mari Mariana Muther back there by herself. The freshman really working hard. And the two freshmen that are getting a lot of oh, time in this nice. match. Wow. Yeah. That one just kind of died like a knuckleball. Mia Kanapke picks up her 22nd ace, but to finish that thought, the two freshmen that are out here quite a bit for both squads, Campbell Etzler and Mariana Muther, they're not shy anymore. They're sophomores now. They've got a lot of experience from a regular season, and they are ready to go. Mia Kanapke with a serve, set, hard spike on that one by Bushman. And then Coldwater comes right back and scores. Mia Kanapi goes over on two, Jeff. New Bremen's defense, they were setting up for a possible spike attempt, but Kanapke gets the kill, put, puts it right in the campfire. This is match, or this is set number one point. Quick set for blessing game, nice diving dig, keeping it alive as New Bremen quickly tipped over, set for blessing game again, and she puts Woo! it away. Not without a great effort by New Bremen on these volleys. 25-12 in that first set, Jeff. Morgan Blossom game, she was really good in the first 10 points, and she gets rewarded with the set point. Coldwater up one to zero. More exciting Mac volleyball between one and two coming up on WOSN. Here at the Palace in Coldwater, exciting volleyball and tonight's scoreboard being brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Coldwater, the number one team, wins 25 12 in that first set. Coldwater with Morgan Blassing game and for the New Bremen Cardinals, Melinda Schrader. Absolutely. And these two teams, it's going to be interesting, Jeff, to see how New Bremen comes out of this um, first set loss and responds in set number two. They've got to find an answer for Blazing Game. I know I spoke about how Melina Schrader is their all everything, but she's a setter. They've got to get some blocks up there against Blazing Game, but Coldwater has been so quick to the net and their transition to defense from defense to offense has been impeccable. And also Mia Kanapke with seven service points in that first set. Eight kills for Morgan Blassen game. And also Molina Schrader with three kills, three service points. So we look at that now. They had the tournament draw the OHSA had on Sunday. Boy, I'll tell you what's going to be a stacked lineup for some of these MAC schools when it comes to tournament time next week. Absolutely. The Coldwater District is, or excuse me, the Van Wert District of which Coldwater is a part is simply phenomenal. Coldwater, the number one team, ranked, uh, ranked number one team in the state. St. Henry, the number three team. Marion Local, the number five team. Crestview, the number eight team. Coach Tammy Gregory, she's here tonight watching this match. Parkway, number 11. 
Those five teams in the top 11 in the state are in the same district. Only one of them is going to come out of that. And then New Bremen is in the Wapak district. And uh, not, not saying anything uh, in a negative way about the other teams in that district, but they do not have the same caliber of competition as the Van Wert district. And the first serve by Schrader is long out of bounds. And that's not what Coach Kramer wanted to see. Her senior all-everything go long on the first serve. Puts a point up for Coldwater right away here in set two. Spencer Essler with the serve. Schrader with a pass. Blocked at the net. Against Lydia Bushman, and it falls on the Debreman side, 2-0. Yeah, Mia Kanapke gets that block. That's number 16. Again, her shoulder, her right shoulder definitely turned in to push that ball back towards the middle of the floor on New Bremen's side of the net. Hetzler with the serve. Passing it to the near side, Bushman. Back over, Blassen game. Saved by New Bremen. Hitting it long, but touched toward the back line. That was a good play by Muther. Mariana Muther, the freshman, picks up her second kill of the match. And she's going to go to the service line now. Blasting game will tip it over, and it's off of Ava Trentman. Give Blasen game another kill. I think sometimes with this Coldwater team, the player that gets the short end of the stick is the setter, Mia Kanapke. She's got 641 assists coming into today's match. But when you have a Spencer Edsler and a Morgan Blasen game getting all of the flash, you got to understand where your cash is, and it's with Mia Kanapke. Just solid as a setter. Campbell Etzler with the service ace. Serve over. Blocked at the net. Saved by Coldwater. And three balled over by Etzler. Quick set. Tipped over by Trippman. Keeping it alive is Coldwater. Alertly by Kanapke. Then Trippman tried to hit it over and maybe got a little touch on it, but it went out of bounds. Melina Schrader and Ava Trentman, one of the few times this whole entire season that they weren't on the same page. They've run that shoot to perfection all year long. That one, it goes uh, awry. And another ace for Campbell Etzler. Campbell Etzler with three aces now in the match. Yep, she is the younger sister of Spencer Etzler. And yep, they are the daughters of head coach Nikki Etzler. And yet, they are the daughters of assistant coach Mike Etzler. Let's keep it in the Etzler family. <laughs> this one is wide out of bounds on the hit by Schrader. And there is a timeout. Seven to one. Coldwater has jumped out in set two after winning set one, 25 12. Back with Boar, deciding Mac Volleyball from the Palace in Coldwater. Coming up on WOSM. WOSN Scores app is new and improved. Download a brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today. Stay up to date on all the scores. Dave Bowen, Jeff Overholz are back here at Coldwater. Jeff, um, New Bremen takes that time out down 7-1. to Again, the blitzkrieg of the early part of the set is happening again for Coldwater. And also during that time out, a nice recognition as announced by Coldwater Athletic Director Eric Goodwin during the first part of that second set. Melina Schrader just picked up her 3,000th career assist. That's impressive. That sails long out of bounds by Campbell Etzler. You know, I, I watched last year in the regional championship when New Bremen won that and eventually went on to win the state championship. They had different players that could uh, plug in in different slots. Coldwater this year seems to have that same swagger when they play. They absolutely do. And you don't go undefeated without having versatility. This one hit long and out of bounds by Blassingame. 
So Coach Kramer takes that timeout, and New Bremen responds by getting the next two points. They may fight their way right back into this second set here with Steininger behind the service line. Serve is over. Quick set for Blassen Game, who tips it over. Saved by Schrader. Back over again. Nice dive by Steininger. And they tried to play it off of the rafter and could not. Great effort by Kira Steininger right there. But again, great placement by Coldwater to put it back in that corner. In high school volleyball, your great programs, everybody comes up on defense and you challenge the opponent to push it to the corner. That's what Coldwater did right there successfully. Mia Kanapke with the serve right back over and Kanapke will get the ball. And right off of the spike by Olivia Broering. Her first kill of the match, that's 38 on the season for Broering. And there's that versatility you talked about. Doesn't do a whole lot as far as statistics does Olivia Broering, but she's ready when her number is called, comes through right there. Running up is Riddler. Nice save for Coldwater. Lassen game. I was just about to say, She's been silent all of a sudden. Here comes Blassen game. Kill number 10 for number six. Number 10 in your program. She just wanted to make sure we didn't forget that, <laughs> yes. Jeff. With that kill. And Apke continuing to serve. Dig by Bushman. Coming right back, a block on the spike by Tangeman. And then it's hit long out of bounds. Again, Blasengame gets a block on that first attempt, and then Tangeman, knowing that Blasengame's there, tried to make the adjustment, but it goes long. And Apke will serve this into the net. So it will be over to New Bremen on side out. And going back to serve will be Sarah Dwanger, one of the seniors. New Bremen had it down to seven to four, right in there, eight to four, and then Coldwater goes on another run, and there's an unforced air. That's one thing Coach Kramer's gonna be talking to her team about. Yeah, it's risk and reward with the serve. You gotta put some heat on it, but if you don't get it in, it doesn't matter how hard it is or how much it knuckles, the, the defense doesn't have to touch it. Tipped at the net, and Apparently into the net is Coldwater. Yeah, give Mary Rindler the kill. They run that slide effectively where Rindler goes from her left to her right. We've seen her have a, a miss hit earlier with that one. They execute it there. Can't hit it hard like she wants to that time, but just as effective as New Bremen comes up with the point. Eilerman with the serve. Set, and it's long out of bounds off of Spencer Etzler. She is what I'm talking about. You have what I saw in the Coldwater spike off earlier this year on WOSN that it was blasting game, but then as it went on, it went to different people like Etzler and Entrop and others. Tipped over by Etzler on the serve. And Apke. Now the tip over by Etzler, and she gets it down the line, and that eludes Eilerman for the point. Spencer Etzler right there finds the open area. New Bremen set up for a hard spike and she goes soft. She fakes him out like Millie Vanilla. <laughs> Back to serve is Kara Kanapke. That one's a block by Spencer Etzler on the spike attempt by Mary Rindler. Again, we mentioned in the pregame, Coldwater lost to New Bremen in the regular season, which eventually resulted in a three-way tie for the MAC championship. I don't think Coldwater felt like they needed revenge, but they most certainly are playing like they want to avenge last year's regular season loss of Spencer Etzler, another kill. Yeah, and, and I've been watching this, and it's like, okay, New Bremen's watching for blasting game, but now it's Spencer Esler. It is. They, they rotate very effectively using blasting game and Etzler, and then you have other hitters who take advantage of their opportunities. Mia Kanapke shares the volleyball very effectively. What keeping it alive is Coldwater. Jump at the net. 
and Arlo Hine with the kill. And we mentioned Campbell Etzler is a freshman and Mariana Muther, a freshman for New Bremen. Arlo Hine says, hey, I'm here too. Don't forget me. I'm going to be around for a while for Coach Etzler as well. Yeah, she is just a freshman as well. Cold water will load. Etzler across, tipping it back over. Nice play by Melina Schrader. And she definitely has that as part of her arsenal as well. Goes over on two because she sees that back line. Everybody's up except one, and that's just too much ground to cover for the Coldwater defense. Schrader with the point. Brindler back to serve for New Bremen. Set, back over, cross court. Nice shot by Olivia Broy. Give her her second kill on the night. Ten point lead for Coldwater. Again, they have just put on a display thus far, Jeff, of how to be aggressive in the early part of the set. And two great volleyball programs. This one is nice. Kill by Ava Trippman. She is a senior for the New Bremen Cardinals. The middle hitter comes away with the kill on the slide play. 181 kills on the season now for Trentman, second on this New Bremen squad. Melina Schrader back to serve for New Bremen on side out. Campbell Etzler with the dig and back over on the hit behind. Good play by New Bremen to keep it alive. Hit over by Bushman, back over, and quick by Schrader. But playing it is Coldwater. They play it out of the net. Schrader, near side. Muther with the hit, and she'll get the kill. That's a freshman right there. She's just a pop, but she says, I'm ready for some big girl <laughs> volleyball. Bring it on. I need to get my team back into this. Mariana that, Muther. That shows charisma big time. Uh-huh. Service over the net, short. Quick set, Spencer Etzler, nice dig on the play by Steiniger, and then returned back by Spencer Etzler. New Bremen did everything they could right there. They said, well, you can't pass it, you can't free ball it up by the net. I just dug that one out, and it was coming at me at 80 miles per <laughs> yeah. hour. Like a rocket. Moves her back over, nice shot again. I think they found somebody in the freshman. Nicely done by Muther. You're right. Julia Tangeman checks in for New Bremen. Replacing Eilerman. Muther with the serve. For blasting game. Nice save by Schrader. And free balling it back over is Bushman. Quick set, blasting game. And it goes right back into the net. Good effort for New Bremen by Rindler to try to dig that one out. Another yeah. kill for blasting game. Yeah, again, this is a kind of match with, as we said, it's big girl volleyball. If you're going to free ball the, the volleyball across the net, you need to be prepared because these teams transition from defense to offense when you hit it hard, you give them a free opportunity, they're gonna make you pay. Coldwater did right there, but then on the ensuing serve, they go long. Kira Steiniger back to serve. The libero for New Bremen. Big on the back line by Etzler, set for blessing game right down the middle. Short set from Blasen game. She hits it from Kanapke. I think those two have played together for hmm. a while. You have to be on the dance floor in sync right there with that short set. Kanapke and, and Blasen game run it to perfection. Yeah, Kanapke with a serve for Coldwater. Blocked at the net by Blasen game on the hit by Julia Tangeman. Well, in the first two sets, I'm just going to say it. New Bremen has had no answer for Blasing Game when she has been on the front row, either from the hitting or from the blocking. She's been outstanding. Well, they tried to get it toward the net by Schrader, but it was hit into the net 
by Tangeman, but although it was real close to the net. We have another timeout for New Bremen. 22 to 11, set number two. Back with more exciting Mac Conference volleyball here on WOSN. Join the Three Wise Men podcast. Join Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as they break down local football matchups, talk Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. Yeah, that's a great podcast. Those three guys do an outstanding job. They bring some guests in. They've had coaches in. They've had officials in. Uh, they've had father and sons in. Uh, to be on the podcast, look it up on uh, YouTube. You'll really enjoy the episodes. Pulled the water up 22 to 11. And good play that time. Hitting it down the line was Tangeman. Dynamite down the line for New Bremen. Julia Tangeman picks up the kill. That's her second in the match. And the ultimate outdoor scoreboard, 22 to 12. Coldwater with the lead. Served by Dwenger. Lassen game, what a rare one that goes out of bounds. Coach Kramer's asked her team to go with some soft serves, and it's been a little bit, of, it's been effective. You know, a lot of times you can only get soft serve at Dairy Queen to make it effective <laughs> for you, but right now, Coldwater with the, or excuse me, New Bremen with the soft stuff, has thrown Coldwater's timing off, but not there. Now, Broaring with the kill on that play. Her so third of the match. Back to serve will be blasting game. And that'll be an ace for Blassing Game, and this will be set point. Second on the team in that category, 47 on the season now for Morgan Blassing Game, aces that is. Set in the middle and hitting it long out of bounds is Mary Rindler, and set two going to Coldwater, 25. 13. So the Cavaliers up two sets to none. We'll come back with set three next on WOSN. Back here at the Palace in Coldwater, the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate. Outdoor. Dave Bowen, Jeff Oberholzer back here at the Palace in Coldwater. Coldwater dominating in the first two sets, 25-12, 25-13. Yes, it definitely was not on my bingo card, Jeff, that Coldwater would win so decisively. I saw this, and it still could happen. I yeah. saw it as a four or five set uh, match tonight. But New Bremen, they've got to find some, some answers because... Uh, right now, Coldwater is really, really delivering. And, you know, Coach Diana Kramer's program, it's outstanding. Four state titles, 2017, 2019, and then back-to-back -back defending state champions right now, 22 and 23 for four state titles. Nikki Etzler and Coldwater, hard to believe, but the Cavaliers do not have a state championship in volleyball. And, and if this... This match continues to go along the thread it has thus far. I'm going to say right here and now after tonight's match, man, they are poised to have a tremendously deep tournament yeah. run. Yeah, when you look at all these max schools, with the exception of where you're telling that uh, Coldwater is going to, and they have a bunch of max schools going there, max conference really shines when it comes to tournament play yeah it really does and and again uh, that's no secret across sports they do an outstanding job and and uh 
you know, you're, you're sort of digging into me a little bit because I've been one of, part of one of those programs that has to go up against those MAC schools. Sometimes we've been successful, sometimes we haven't. But at any rate, it is always a, a, an opportunity to see who you are when you play a MAC school. And in this series, since 2007, New Bremen leads this series 10-7, to and New Bremen has won the last five meetings. Wow. So it's going to... It's trending towards a change tonight. New Bremen has won the last five meetings, and they have won seven of the last eight. Last year, as we said, they won the regular regular season meeting. Three sets to two. Right now, Coldwater, they would love to sweep tonight. Back to serve is Braylon Knapkin. And coming right back, that's a good start. Courtney Bremen. It is. Melina Schrader again on two. She goes with that flip of the volleyball behind her head. It's like she has eyes in the back of her head. Finds that open area on cold water side of the net. Quick set. And Harlow Hine with a spike and kill. That's her third kill of the match. We're also seeing on display, as we've mentioned before, the freshmen on both of these squads. We sure are. And, and, and as we said, Harlow Hine gets the kill right there. Spencer Etzler with the serve. Back set that time. Muther was blocked by Blassingay. I've got 13 of Baker's dozen for kills for blasting game. I agree with you on that note, Jeff. And right now, it is so imperative that New Bremen gets some rotations on cold water in the early going. And they do so right there. Ava Trentman with the kill. And again, this is a better, better start for the Cardinals here in set number three. And that's what they've got to have. Their back is against the wall. You got to play outside the lines, if you will, a little bit, Jeff. You can't let anything fall that might be close to going in right now because you've got to get points. You've got to be aggressive. And they give it to Blassen game on a cross court shot. Coach Kramer thought that one sailed wide. It's all about angles, and that's why your line judges are right there on the lines. So Campbell Etzler, a freshman, back to serve as the libero. And nice double block that time by Kanapke and Blassengame. Kanapke gets the block. That's number 17. And again, she's your setter. And she's getting blocks out there. Uh, that tells you something again about how they grow them down here in that country, Jeff. <laughs> yes. Serve over the net. That's going to be, oh, saved. I was going to say ace, but great play for New Bremen. Lassen game gets it blocked. That was by Rindler. Tap back over and then back over to Coldwater. to Lassen game again. They know where their bread is butter, do the Cold Water Cavaliers. Morgan Blasen game with another block. But boy, do you have to tip your cap to Melina Schrader right there. As you said, she almost went up in the fourth row, had some popcorn while she was up there, <laughs> and then came back to help her team keep the ball in play. They're going to switch volleyballs. Coldwater leads here in set three, already up two sets to none. They win, it's over. New Bremen wins, they extend tonight's matchup. That's an ace for Campbell Etzler, her 10th point. And all I've got her for four aces. You know, talking about the libero, people were asking me, what does the libero really do? I mean, they're out there, but I thought, a while back, they couldn't serve. Yes, they can serve. They can do lots of other things. So what can they not do? There's a Trentman nice, with yep. the spike and kill. Nice kill for Trentman. That's her fourth of the match. 
Well, the libero is meant to be a defensive-minded position. Yeah, you aren't supposed to be um, overly offensive. You're not to be spiky. You can't be above the height of the net, technically. Um, I learned that from our uh, referee on the ladder. Steve Trout taught me that last week. So it's a defensive mindset from that position, and Campbell Etzler and Kira Steininger are doing it to perfection. Riot Busher, she's really good in that position from St. Henry as well. And that one goes sails out of bounds. So now Coldwater will get it on side out, leading 7-3. Now, so, I'm glad that you mentioned that because people are going, well, will they have a different shirt? What do they actually do? It isn't because uh, mom uh, washed the wrong shirt <laughs> in the laundry the night before. That one is a nice spike and kill by April Baker. Number 96 on the season for Baker. Right now, though, New Bremen, they got to they gotta go now. Right, right now, Coldwater, they're playing very relaxed, up two sets to zero. They're playing with house money at this point in time. Just being aggressive, New Bremen's got to make a statement. Blassen game will tip it over quickly. Here's Schrader. Back is Blassen game. Set for Blassen game. This time she taps it too short into the net. Very interesting play there. One of the few errors you'll see from Mia Kanapke. I actually thought the ball came off her hands really quick and it looked good, but just didn't have any heat behind it to get up above the net for Blasingame. That's an ace serve for Dwenger. You can feel it a little bit, Jeff. You can feel momentum. Dwenger with her 31st ace on the season, third on the team. In that category, one point disadvantage for New Bremen. Quick back set for Blasingame and it's tipped at the net. So that'll be a kill. Number 15 in the match for Blousing Game. She's going to go to the service line. So she's going to be in the back row. That's the good news. The bad news is that she can back row attack with the best of <laughs> yeah, them. From the, beyond the 10 foot line. Yep. Serve is over. Quick set. Back over is Rindler. And good play by Mary Rindler on the kill. Number four on the match for Rindler on that right side. Over 200 kills on the season for Mary, just a junior. And she is back to serve in the middle of the back row. Passing game with the dig. Quick set for Spencer Etzler, and she'll hit it soft diagonally and in. That's kill number seven for Etzler. And you mentioned it. Yeah, Blazing Game's in the back or in the back row now. That's the good news. The bad news is that Spencer Etzler is in the front row. <laughs> That's their diversity that they have. They can really adapt to any situation. But New Bremen has done that before, too. Blasting game with the dig, but not good enough. And that will be a point for New Bremen. Makes it a one point third set. I believe that was April Baker yep, on the I kill. I think you're right, too. She and Mariana Muther, they look a lot alike from way back here. That one is a soft hit, but it is successful for Olivia Broering. It's one of those that looks like an absolute hammer kill, but it counts in the score box. Two-point advantage for Coldwater. Bradley Kanapke, and what do we have? Steve Trout, I don't think, ever whistled the serve to occur yet. Okay, so talking to both captains real quick to make sure everyone's on the same page. Bradley Kanapke is continuing to serve Coldwater. The third set, Coldwater up two sets to none. That one served into the net. Coldwater won the first set 25-12, won the second set 25-13. And as I said during this set, yeah, Coldwater's playing relaxed, playing with house money, but maybe a little too relaxed mm -hmm. right here, Jeff. New Bremen, they'll, they'll pounce on that if they get the opportunity. Quick set and kill by Spencer Etzler. But speaking of pouncing, mm -hmm. Spencer Etzler comes hard from the front left, goes 
cross court eight ball corner pocket. Back to a two point advantage for Coldwater on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Trader passes to Trentman, gets it over. Trentman tips it back over, save. And over to Plassen game, down the line and out. Good decision by New Bremen as that one sails wide. Mariana Muther is back to serve. So Mariana Muther back, the only a freshman. Pass to Plassen game. And Muther that time tried to dig it, but could not. Number 16 for Blazing Game. And back to serve is the libero Campbell Etzler. That's the other thing you, you see from both teams. No ball is out of play or down ever. You're going to die for it, give it everything you have to make sure your team knows you're giving 100%. Hitting it right down the middle. That's Blasen game for another kill. We've got back. 11 service points now for Campbell Etzler. Back there in the back row. I believe it was Muther. She decided to guess left. Blasen game went right. You see that in tennis a lot, Jeff. You gotta make it, you gotta make a decision early. That's Trentman for the kill. Number five for Ava. You yeah, it's not only athletic type game, it's also mind game it as is. well. It is, and right now, New Bremen is not going away quietly. We would not have expected that to happen in any way, shape, or form. They are battling here, and they cut it to one again. Kira Steiniger with an ace. Number 50 on the season, second on the team. Coldwater up 13-12, set three. Steiniger continuing to serve. And Coldwater will free ball it over by Blessing Game. Quick set, Rindler, cross court, out. Great decision by Briley Kanapke right there to let that one go. That's tough to pull off. Again, the freshman, Kanapke, another one. Another pup out there for Coach Nicky Etzler. Mia Kanapke with a serve. Dig right at the net and keeping it alive brilliantly is New Bremen. Blassen game comes back. It's tipped at the net. Blassen came back over again. Nice volley by both teams. This one's hit back. Coldwater with a quick hit Woo! by Kanapke. And Campbell Etzler keeps it alive. And this time, Blassen game could not keep it out of the net. Great, that, great ball. Yes, that gets the new Bremen faithful up off their seats, cheering on their team. That's the best volley of the night for new Bremen. They cut the deficit to one again. Sarah Dwenger back to serve for new Bremen. Two thirds of this world is covered by water right there on that volley. The fans in the stands, they understand the other third is covered by these two teams. Plassen game, hits it to the right of Muther, and a point. Morgan Plassen game comes up to the net and says, not so fast, my friends. She pushes that one down, kill number 18. And she is back to serve on side out. Quick set in the middle, Rindler with a nice kill. That looked like Mary Rindler's best swing mm -hmm. of the night right there from the middle. Outstanding job of high pointing the ball. Great arm whip. Kill number four for Rindler. And Rindler is back to serve. How many times have we said that in the matchup? Now a double hit on Coldwater and that will tie this third set up. Ties it up, 15 apiece. As coaches, you, you teach your team we want to win at the five-point interval. So now it's 0-0. Zero, zero. We're playing to 20, playing the first to five to get to 20, and we'll go from there. Quick hit that time by April Baker. Etzler, soft hit over. Tipped over by Schrader. Saved by Blassingame. 
Spencer Etzler hits it and off the block of Schrader. That'll give the point to Coldwater. Yeah, Schrader and Muth are unable to turn that one in. When April Baker had a swing at it, Coach Kramer was jumping up and down behind her, wanted her to get a, wanting her to get that point as she does right there. There's that Muther. Uh-huh. Mariana Muther picks up her fifth kill of the match. And that was with some power. It was. She's been in the weight room as that freshman. Now back to serve is Allie Bornhorst, the junior for New Bremen. Lassen game with a dig. Over to Spencer Etzler, and it will go off uh, Bornhorst for the point. Etzler takes a little bit off of that one, and you see that happen so often. When the timing gets off, both of these teams, they're prepared to defend the fastball. Just like great, great high school baseball teams, you know how to hit the fastball. It's when the changeup comes up, the change of speed. How do you adapt? That can make it tough. And now they're going to call into the net. And I think that may be on Harlow High. Coldwater's in the net regardless. 17-17, neither coach has used the timeout here in set number three. Coldwater, Nikki Etzler in ninth season. New Bremen Cardinals head coach Diana Kramer also in her ninth season. And this is virtually for number one in the MAC conference. Coldwater 7-0 in the conference and New Bremen 6-1. Muther with the free ball over. Quick set and goes to Spencer Etzler for the kill. They bring Etzler out of the middle on that one and again her footwork was impeccable. She was able to high point the volleyball gets it through the, the block for the point. Spencer Etzler back to serve. Running up is Trippman, hits it too long out of bounds. Nineteen seventeen. Just a little off was New Bremen on that, that pass and that set. Trentman sailed it as a result. Just a little, and it's so important, so crucial to do the little things exactly right. Tipping it over short is Mia Kanapke when Blassen game almost when, missed that one. Yeah, when things are going right, they're going right. Uh, Blassen game tried to go with the stuff, block, two handed kill, and it goes in the net, but it was only the first hit. So Coldwater was able to get it back over. From beyond the 10 foot line is Rindler gets it back over and Blassen game will blast that off of Lydia Bushman. And we have a timeout. First timeout taken in set three. Coldwater by four on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. 21-17. Back with four. Mac volleyball and WOSN. Pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv, also on Roku and Apple TV, along with Dave Bowen, Jeff Hoverholzer, back here at the Palace in Coldwater. This third set is more like what we thought each of the sets could be tonight. Exactly. Coach Kramer takes that time out. The question is, has Coldwater taken New Bremen's best shot, or do they have one more in them? And Spencer Etzler with an ace. That's her first ace of the match. She leads, leads Coldwater 54 on the season. Trentman. Nice save by Campbell Etzler. Back over, blasting game, and this time it's Trentman who says, nah, baby, nah. Block number 30 for Ava, second on the team for New Bremen. Back to service, Muther. That is uh, out. Whoa, that close. I was just almost ready to say ace. 
but apparently beyond the line. Campbell Etzler back to serve. She has been, and I mean this affectionately, a garbage girl. She just continues to take out the trash back there to the libero for cold water. Cleans everything up. Blasting game on the kill. Number 20 on the match. It's set point, match point, Jeff. Campbell Etzler with 12 service points for the freshman. And the tonight's cold, matchup. Yeah, the cold water fans on their feet wanting to finish this one off. Quick set, Trentman. And that is off of the defender, Riley Kanapke, for a kill. They're saying that we're not done yet. Not done yet. Man, when, when it's match point and you're on defense, you have to do everything right. There's a lot of pressure right there. New Bremen executes to perfection. Quick tip over, nice save for New Bremen. And good hit back over. Went right back out of bounds on the hit by Kara Kanapke. Great decision by the Cardinals to let that one go. Their back is against the wall. And we got a timeout by Coldwater. 24-20 is the score in the set three. I'd like to thank camera person Megan Sherry. Thank you very much, doing a nice job. Thanks also to Athletic Director Eric Goodwin and TV44 Mark Shine for helping us with some stats. Your and overall feeling about this one? Overall feeling? Yeah. Well, Jeff, I, I, I thought it would go four or five sets. Um, Coldwater, I guess what I would say right now is they are just having that magical season. Yes. What Coach Etzler has to really do is make sure her girls stay in the now. You got to just stay in the moment as it is set point, match point. But tonight and then in their league match against Minster on Thursday and then as the second season starts. Keeping it alive is Schrader. And free balling it back over is Baker. Quick set, blasting game has it tipped back at her. And Spencer Etzler will free ball it over. Quick set for Bushman blocked at the net by Rindler. Quick tip back over. And Rindler with a hit, and it's in. So that one, the, Colo or the Coldwater contingent, they did not think that was in. There have been a couple uh, line calls that have gone the other way against New Bremen. And Coach Nikki Etzler, she's going to take her second time out. And we'll take it with her. We get ready for set. And match point coming up. Three point lead for Coldwater. Back with four after this on WOSN. Back here at the Palace, the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. 24 21, Coldwater. One point away from match point. Interesting second time out by Nikki Etzler trying to thwart the momentum on New Bremen's side of the net. Back-to-back -back timeouts with a point for New Bremen in between. Snyder with the serve. Quick set, tipped over by Blassen game. That will be the final kill and the match. Kill number 21 for Morgan Blassen game. That's going to do it. A three to zero victory for the Coldwater Cavaliers. They put themselves in the driver's seat. They have secured a share of the Midwest Athletic Conference Championship. They host Minster on Thursday. They want it all to themselves. And if you look at Coldwater, what they have done has been a miraculous season. They won obviously all their matches are now 21 and 0. They've only lost one set this whole entire season. And they were challenged tonight by New Bremen, especially in this third set. And it's going to be interesting to see again who comes out of this Vanward district with number one Coldwater, number three St. Henry, number five Marion Local, number eight Crestview, number 11 Parkway. Whoever comes out of it is definitely going to be battle tested. 
But somewhere down the road, I do believe they're going to see New Bremen again. Well, looking at uh, some of the key statistics for the winning Coldwater Cavaliers, 21 kills for Morgan Blassing game, 11 kills for Spencer Etzler, and 12 service points for freshman Campbell Etzler, including four aces. And you look on the New Bremen side of the ledger, Ava Trentman had seven kills in the matchup, and also Kara Steiniger had a total of four service points, including a service ace. But you're looking at two quality programs that may go fairly deep into this upcoming tournament. Yes, absolutely. And that's what we just talked about, Jeff. It's going to be fun to watch uh, this Van Wert district and the Wapak district where these two schools are at, respectively, Coldwater and Van Wert and New Bremen in Wapak. And this, this is just what it's all about. And what I really... Um, I'm disappointed to see in a way you can't help it. It's what occurs in high school sports is seniors that we saw on the court tonight. They're playing, they're getting towards the end of their careers. They're playing their end of the regular season. They both have Mac foes yet on Thursday. New Bremen has New Knoxville. Coldwater has the aforementioned Minster Wildcats. And it's just been a pleasure to watch these teams really get after it all season long. Coldwater wins three sets to none, 25-12, 25-13, 25-21. Partner, it's been great to be with you for volleyball action. Couldn't get any better than this. It doesn't, and it was fun to watch, and, and there might be a rematch in the making. You never know, Jeff. All right, thanks to camera person Megan Sherrick, also to athletic director Eric Goodwin, and TV 44, Mark Shine. For Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Overholzer from the Palace in Coldwater. Thanks for watching Ohio Mac Volleyball on WOSN. Good night.